I used to think of artificial flavoring as a bad thing, something that is unnatural, unhealthy, and doesn't belong in our food. Put into our food by scientists to make us buy more of that food. But through my recent research, I've discovered that that may not be the truth. That maybe, just maybe, artificial flavoring can actually be the future of our food. But what I really wonder is what does the public think of artificial flavoring? It is currently day three of me trying to get interviews. So far, I've gotten one. Um, it was my cat. Turns out, cats don't care if, if there's artificial flavoring. Um, some attempts that I've made are waking up my friends um, at 1 a.m. Because that's a time that I know they're going to be home and that they're not doing anything else. Turns out they still said no. They still said no. Um, I've also tried uh, talking to the McDonald's employees. I'm at a weird angle. It's okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'll pay on debit. Okay. Oh, that's good. I'm actually, a, I'm an independent reporter, uh, I do journalism, I'm just wondering, would you be willing to eat food that has artificial flavoring in it? Would you be more willing to eat food if it does or doesn't have artificial flavoring? I'm not allowed. You're not? Yeah, one moment. I told you. I told you. They, they... <laughs> They seemed very hesitant about uh, about wanting to do an interview on on artificial flavoring. Uh, so I am going to go to the one place I know will never let me down, and that is the internet. And I'm going to try to find try to find interviewees there. You're joined. Hello. Who are you? Uh, my name is Cam. I was wondering if any of you guys uh, care when there's uh, artificial flavoring in your foods. Nah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Look, look, I'll be honest. Could could have gone better. Could have could have definitely gone better. But we did get a response, and honestly, I mean. <laughs> I'll take it.